Now I'm gonna give you an overview of the recent app screen in Android. We're gonna go over things like how to take a screenshot from there, how to use two apps at the same time, and a few other things. So the first thing you wanna do is swipe up slightly from the bottom of the screen. And you can see we have our recent apps here that we have open. And if we go all the way to the left here, there's a clear all that'll close them all out. Um, or you can swipe them away to close them just like that if you want to. If you tap on the app icon at the top, you can see each recent app has that. You can see you get app info, which if you tap into that, will bring you into the settings page basically um, for that app. So you can force stop it, you can open it up, you can adjust the notifications, the permissions, the storage, and things like that. But if we head back here, you can also split screen. So you can see I can open um, or select one of my other recent apps here. And if I do that, it'll jump me into split screen mode and I can readjust the size by dragging that black bar up and down. And if I want uh, the message, messages app to go full screen, now I just swipe this one away and I can do it vice versa for the other app. Um, but if you want to do split screen with an app you don't already have open, if you jump back into this, you can just tap anywhere else on the screen here and it'll close out of it. Now I'm on the home page, and I can select any app I have here or I can even go into the app drawer and select any app and open it up if I want to as long as it does support split screen. So you can do that as well if you want to. See, it works just like that. Go ahead and swipe it away. Now if we go back, the last thing in this little menu here when you tap on the app icon is the pause app. And this will um, pause notifications for that app um, for the rest of the day. And you can go ahead and do that if you want to, or just tap cancel. Now you, you have other options down here at the bottom like screenshot or select. So if I do screenshot, it's gonna take a screenshot of that app that I have right here. Um, so if I wanted a screenshot of a different app, I can just go ahead and do that right there too, whichever one I have in the front here. And I can either tap on share, and it'll pull up the share sheet here. Or if I take a screenshot, I can click edit. And from here, I can draw on it or you know, kind of write a note or do whatever. And then I can, again, hit the share at the top, brings up the share sheet, and I can share it however I want. Um, or I can delete it if I don't want it anymore. So it's nice that there's a little edit menu there for screenshots. Now the last thing in this menu is select text. If we go ahead and tap that, you can see the app we had in the front here. It'll pull up these kind of boxes. And if I tap on one of them, you can see I can now select the text. And I can copy it, share it, or do a Google search if I want to. So it's kind of nice to go back and forth between apps like this and just quickly select text and then go ahead and paste it in the app you need. So instead of having to jump fully back into the app, you can just go into the menu here and hit select. Um, and then you can easily copy um, whatever text you might need. Um, and then also you can just go and switch between the apps this way. And if you swipe just to the left and the right on the bottom, it'll switch you between, you know, your recent apps too, if you want to. Um, and you can keep going. I only have two open, that's why it stops. Um, but if you had more open, you can see, you can swipe through all of them back and forth. So that's how you go ahead and use the recent app screen in Android. Hopefully that helps. And if you like that video, give it a thumbs up on your way out and go ahead and click that subscribe button to get more videos like this one on Android and other devices as well.